Good Morning Show intro music. In room. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is Friday, and you guys know what Friday is. It's time that we get to spend with the Friday Squad, but today is a very special edition of our Friday show. Welcome to the Good Morning Show. This is your place for faith in the morning. And as you can see, we have a very special guest this morning. Good morning, Maru. Good morning. Good morning. So glad to be here with you today. So we're doing good and we're so happy that you're with us. All right, let's fade out the Good Morning Show music here. <laughs> and welcome everyone to the show this morning. LaRue, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. I'm doing really, really good. I got my my uh, my vitamin juice <laughs> and I'm ready to go. Yep. <laughs> you know, I know that you practice, um, have a lifestyle of practicing healthy choices and natural oils as well. We talked a little bit yesterday on the show about um, oils and how they can transform our lives. And, oh my gosh. Um, you know, I know it has to you. So actually we can mention that at the end. So if anyone has um, questions for you or wants to reach out to you, absolutely. You know, we'll, we'll invite people to this natural journey. Yeah. Um, so I want to welcome all of you. Thank you for tuning into the Good Morning Show. Just a quick note, if you'd like to comment during the show, go to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. I'll put it up here for you guys so you can see it. And you can comment because we want to talk to you. This is a two-way conversation. Luru, we like to engage the audience with questions and comments. So, um, well, I want to get started briefly by saying that this month, has been all about the power of worship, the power of music, and this songstress here. So I want everyone to get to know you a little bit, LaRue, this morning, and we're gonna have some introductions. I would like to also introduce the Friday Squad to you guys. So you guys know that we have Jody, Kristen, Sandra, Rio, and they're here waiting backstage, so we'll bring them on to say good morning as well. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's so good to see all of you. And for our Friday edition, special edition, we have LaRue Howard with us. Now, LaRue is an award-winning gospel artist, worship leader, worship pastor, worship coach. <laughs> so, LaRue, tell us a little bit about you and introduce yourself to the Good Morning Show family. Yeah, good morning, everyone. So glad to be here with you again, Candy. Um, and the entire squad. My name is LaRue Howard, as you've said already, and I'm a wife of 14, almost 14 years um, to Marvette and I have three wonderful, beautiful, um, they're still my kids. I don't, they're adults. Two of them are adults and one's 11. Um, and so uh, wife, mom, worship leader, I've been leading worship for, gosh, almost 20 years. It's hard to believe it's been that long. Um, but I graduated from college in Atlanta, Georgia. I have a degree in vocal performance. And so I love all things um, worship and vocal health and um, family. And, and just recently, as you mentioned, health and wellness, just really love um, giving people an opportunity to, to learn more about their bodies and um, how they can extend their, <laughs> extend their health and, and live a life of uh, a lifelong healthy life. And um, I just, yeah. I, I love all things worship, of course. Yes. And, you know, it's, I'm, I'm excited to be with you this morning. And we're so excited to have you. All the comments were flying. People were sharing your photo. I was like, this is really great. I mean, we, we truly have been impacted by your gift. And um, I got the chance to visit River of Life uh, a few months back. And I, and I came up to you and I was like, I don't know if she'll remember me. <laughs> but um, she was also on the Good Morning Lady podcast um, sometime after I you know, won my, my cancer battle and started that podcast. LaRue came on the show and it was a, such a good podcast. So go to candybryan.com and listen to her podcast interview as well. So, LaRue, I want to introduce you to the Friday Squad. We've got Sandra Yvonne. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure to meet you. God bless. Nice to meet you. And Sandra and I have been friends for years. Actually, Sandra and Kristen, we, we've met at work. And it's funny how our work sometimes connects us, has divine connections, and right? We, we met at church. We just did. Oh, we just recorded yeah. that out. New Destiny. We did. We were. Wow. We're, we're, <laughs> New Destiny. That's right. We're and we just. Team. Mm hmm. 
Absolutely. And over the pond, overseas in the UK, we have Kristen Rogers. Hey, Kristen. You're on, and you're on mute, so you can unmute if you need to. She's like, okay. Yeah. I mean, there's some there's some stuff going on in the background, so I didn't know if that was going to be distracting or not. But hello, it's so great to see you guys. Hey. So hello. Kristen, She's a beautiful vocalist as well, LaRue. So we, we, I'm surrounded by singers most of the time. It's, wow. it's, it's wonderful. Like, Listen, there's, there's, there's church vocalists and then there's LaRue. <laughs> like, I, I listen to your stuff, but like, there's there's a difference, right? Like I sing, you know, Amazing Grace and whatnot, but like you girl, it's incredible. <laughs> it really Make a beautiful is. noise into the Lord. It's all good. <laughs> Everybody, everybody. Noise, that's right. And holding it down for the fellas, Rio Winfrey of Rio Fitness is with us. Hey, Rio. Hey, good morning. Happy Friday. Glad to be here as always. It's always a blessing, you know. Rio always supports the show faithfully. And it's funny because it used to be Good Morning Ladies, LaRue. And now it's the Good Morning <laughs> Show. Because we have fellas that tuned in, right? <laughs> so we just make it the Good Morning Show. Uh, so what questions do you guys have for LaRue? If you're watching this morning, you want to comment, leave a question, we'd be happy to um, answer those for you. So we're talking about how music has impacted our lives and worship in particular. And what is that, um, what is it behind the music? And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna start out with the first question. Uh, LaRue, tell us a little bit about your, your thoughts on the power of worship to lift our hearts and minds. What is it about worship that does that? Well, you know, we we know that music um, in and of itself is connecting and, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, you can play a, any type of song or any type of music and it automatically has the ability to connect hearts of people, um, whether it's, you know, instrumental or something with lyrics, um, just the way that music is, that God allowed music to be created and to be played, um, it has the, the ability to connect um, to connect the hearts of people. But I believe that worship, though, God gave us the ability to worship through song um, for that purpose, for the purpose of not only connecting our hearts with each other, but connecting our hearts with him. And, you know, you you see in the Bible time and time again where people, um, they worship the Lord. And in the Old Testament, it wasn't, you know, about so always worshiping him with song, but it was through sacrifice. But they worship the Lord so they could spend time with him. And, um, you know, that's that's the power. That's the key is that when we worship the Lord for the purpose of spending time with him, then we know that he promises that if we would seek him and search for him with our whole hearts, that we would find him. And when we find him and we come in contact with him and we can encounter the manifestation of his goodness, we yeah. become changed, you know, and our hearts are lifted and we, we have hope. And and that's the power of it right there. For the whole month, I've been asking kind of the same question in different ways for all of the, the guests who've been on and all of the answers have been amazing, but we haven't talked about the simple, the most basic fact that it's about spending time with him. We talked about, you know, going to the presence of God for healing, for deliverance, for, you know, lifting the burden, <laughs> destroying the yoke. And no one has actually said, not even me, that worship is about spending time with God. Yeah. That is just like, it was a perfect way to, to end the series, Louis. I knew it. I knew God was the right one. So um, I know that the Friday Squad has questions as well, LaRue. So I'm going to turn it over to Rio. We, we have him for a little bit of time this morning before he starts his day. So Rio, what questions do you have for LaRue? Uh, well, LaRue, thanks again uh, for joining us this on this fine Friday. Uh, so my question for you would be, or is, would you say that music brought you closer to the Lord or did the Lord bring you closer to music? Uh, that is such a great question. Um, you know, I grew up in music. My mom made sure that I had um, piano lessons. I started playing piano when I was seven um, and I played all the way throughout my high school. Throughout high school, I was in the band. I started playing, um, funny, I started playing trombone, but I used to chase the dog around the house with the slides. So that only lasted for like a week. And so <laughs> we had to switch that instrument out for a flute. Um, but then I played flute for about five years and then switched to um, uh, percussion in band, which I played the xylophone because I was a pianist. But, um, and then, but throughout all of that time also started singing. 
But it wasn't until I got into college and I was a vocal performance major in college. And um, there was a young man there that was just on fire for the Lord. And he would always preach to us, you know, when you were in school or, you know, as you become an adult, you know, you may have encountered a person who was like, they were always that one churchy person, you know, or maybe you were that one churchy person, which is cool too. <laughs> he was that one churchy person that always, you know, preached to us. And, and it was that connection. And then the, the relationship with my sister, you know, all of them pouring into and speaking into my heart and sp speaking into my life about having a relation, a real relationship with the Lord was what um, brought me into uh, my, my kingdom uh, citizenship, I should say. So I would say that, you know, it was, um, it was the music that brought me to the Lord. So that was a really great question. Awesome. Well, thank you. Really great <laughs> response. Great response. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. And Rio, we know that you've got a busy day. We thank you for coming on. So you can stay, you can head out, whatever you need to do. We we, we love having you on because the, the gentlemen that tune in are like, yeah, is this the lady? Is this the lady? And then they see you. <laughs> thank you all. Right? Thank you all for having me again. Uh, God bless you all and have a great day and a great weekend. Thanks, Rio. To my point, good morning, Ronald Jones, holding it down for the fellas. Hey, come on in the room, you guys. Watch and tune in and share this. Uh, you know, someone's going to watch this on replay, and I believe that a word of encouragement is going to go out this morning. So even if it, someone's watching later on, thank you for tuning into the Good Morning Show. We want to say good morning to Ronald Jones. Everybody say good morning, Ronald. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Michelle. Who else is with us? Anna from Jersey. Jersey girls in the house. Sweet. <laughs> um, Jody. Jody. I should have had a photo, just a standing photo of Jody, right? <laughs> right now. <laughs> Good morning. We know you had to get started with your day, and we miss you, Jody. You are you are so missed this morning. And Shanae. Good morning, Shanae. Good morning. Well, Hit the share button, everyone. Invite someone to the conversation as well. So I'm going to turn it over to the ladies. What questions do you guys have for LaRue this morning? Well, I have one, if that's okay, Sandra, if you got, is yeah. it okay? Okay, so I think sometimes right now in our culture, what we do whenever we have, wherever we're gifted in an area, like, like either singing or songwriting, is we believe it has to be the best and the most and the whatever to, to be able to start, mm. right? So for you, as you've been a, sing a singer, a songwriter, you've been award-winning, you've been doing it since you were a vocal performance major in college, what encouragement would you give those who are in a creative space but may not be number one, right? Wow. What, where does worship, the cultivation of creativity in the arts and music, how do you enjoy that without having to feel like there's this pressure of competition Man, that's a strong question. You know, how do you how do you enjoy it without feeling like it's part, it's competition for you? Offer it to the Lord. You know, if you can, whatever you do, the Bible encourages us that we're supposed to do it as unto the Lord. Whether you are a singer songwriter, um, <clears throat> you are gifted and anointed to organize and bring structure to offices <laughs> or you are you know equipped to like Rio to to help people with fitness whatever it is that you are finding your hands to do do it as unto the Lord and as you do it to him and for his benefit and for his glory and as worship to him because that's a sacrifice right that's and a sacrifice is what the Lord wants he wants us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice and so as you make those sacrifices and say, you know what, this isn't my, this isn't the best, but I'm going to present it to the Lord. Then he receives it and he breathes on it. Yes. And he blesses it, you know? Um, so, and, and, and you're right. So many times people will stop and not do that one thing because they feel like that's not good enough. You know, my God, if I didn't, if, if I waited until I could sing like Tasha Cobbs or Miranda Curtis or, you know, or Carrie Joe. Or Celine Dion. <laughs> no, but if I waited until I could sing like them, I would never do anything. I'd never open my mouth. And so, you know, I just, you do it as unto the Lord and he, you, you present it to him as an offering. 
-hmm. and he breathes on it. He, he, he blesses it and he will multiply it and share it with who needs to be shared with. That's good. Thank you. Love it. Awesome. Sandra, what you got for LaRue? You know, LaRue, I've, I've heard a lot of worshipers, you know, say, oh, we have a performance coming up and the audience. And I struggle with that because in the grand scheme of things, when we are worshiping, we're doing just that. It's not so, to me, it's not so much of a performance. We are worshiping God. So what is your process, you know, to set your mind right, your spirit right, to come out and actually usher others into the presence of the Lord? You know, that's um, one, one of the things that I think about um, in preparing to minister to God's people. And even before this morning, it's like the people that we're sharing with are God's children. Yeah. They belong to the Lord, you know. And so if I, if my friend called, you know, called and said, hey, can you come and pick up? Well, and she's done this before. Can you come get Brooklyn for me? I have to work today. Can you, you know, can she come stay at your house? Or, you know, Jody sometimes have said, hey, can Christian hang out? Can he come and stay? Whatever. I'm going to treat him with love and respect because I know how my friends treat their their children. And so <clears throat> I think about it this, in the same respect, you know, before going out, I said, God, what do you want me to share with your people? Um because they're yours and and I'm just a conduit, you know, I'm just, you're just, a, I'm just a flow through to get them to access your presence and to become aware of your presence. So what is it that you want me to say to them? Um, and so and I think that's the biggest thing is if we take into consideration that the people that we're serving are God's children um, and that we should treat them with love and, um, and care. Mm. That's that awesome. is so good. I, I, I love the fact that um, you can you can sense LaRue's heart is a, a worship pastor, right? A worship leader. Uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, worship coaching and, and your the teaching side of what you do, because that is a big part of your ministries. I put your website up. If you want to go check out LaRue at LaRueMinistries.com, you can learn more. But tell us a little about it. Yeah. So um, God gave me a vision. Um, gosh back in like 2004, um, to bring worship leaders together. I, I had just started leading worship back in 2001. And um, that was at Faith World and huge ministry. But as the worship pastor, I, I only knew what I learned from Martha and Pastor Brown. And, you know, I didn't have like connections and relationships like that. But he gave me this vision of bringing worship leaders from around the world together so we can create and foster these relationships so we can encourage and strengthen one another. And so over the years, it has grown into um, where now on a weekly basis um, on my LaRue Live uh, Facebook page, where we come together and we share, um, we have interviews or, or different conversations with people from all, all over the world that are leading in worship, that are musicians, um, I'll have some sound engineers and just different facets of fine arts ministry as a whole. Um, I've been able to have uh, two conferences. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't like to say conferences, but uh, through that, uh, through that, we've done a worship leader summit where we have vocal coaching, we have um, musicianship training, um, we have sound engineer training, um, uh, some. Uh, uh, American Sign Language ASL coaching, believe it or not, there that's a part of ministry. That's a real fine part of ministry that has not really been touched. You don't hear very many churches that have that. And so um, I just, I, my heart is to be available for worship leaders. Um, that's a very lonely space mm. to be a worship leader, a music director, a music pastor, worship pastor, whatever you're, whatever the, title is, but it's a very lonely place. And I say it's lonely because, um, you know, it's kind of like you're the middleman. <laughs> um, you're serving the people, you're serving the vision of the house, you're serving your pastors, you're serving the, the praise team. Um, and sometimes you're, you can have this thing going on where, you know, you, you know what you want to do, but then, you know, you don't, you don't know how to facilitate it. Um, Maybe it's you have a group of people that you're leading that maybe they don't they don't have the same abilities to to accomplish the things that you want to do. And so, you know, you, you can't really ask them, you know, hey, how can I teach you how to do what I'm trying to teach you to do? 
Um, and then sometimes you, you know, there's things that your pastor may be having a vision for that you can't quite wrap your mind around it. Well, you're trying to give that same vision to the people that you're serving and you're having a hard time wrapping your mind around it. It's like you can't talk to them. So worship leading and, and you know, that position in and of itself is can be a very lonely space. So there, look at your twin back there. <laughs> I see. Oh, I see braids back You there. see the little ponytail coming in from the side. <laughs> Just a little bit. Hi, Jordan. I'm telling you. Hi, Jordan. <laughs> the funny thing is, is, I can feel her head coming closer to the camera. <laughs> and I'm like, is she going to come on live? I'm on live. You can't say I'm doing I'm on live. It's all right. That's my baby. She's your friend. She's watching the production. Hopefully, one day she'll want to jump into it right absolutely absolutely um, but that is but that's that heart behind that for me um it's just being that that safe space if you will for for worship leaders specifically um yeah i absolutely love that it's a ministry unto worship leaders i mean it's such it's so needed because yeah. you're pouring out so much as well as a worship pastor worship leader and sometimes it, it, it's it's a lonely space because I feel like sometimes they're not poured into you. You're either ministering or you're doing something, and you you may or may not be in the service at all times because you're you know you're also working and pastoring. And when if you're not obviously you're going to be in your own time, have your alone time with the Lord. But when are you getting poured into? And so and we love that you're doing that. We also know that you've got some projects coming up. Would you talk a little bit about Defender? Man, yeah. So Defender, it's so funny when I do uh, albums, or at least lately, um, because this is my third live project. Um, and this one we released, this is 2020. <laughs> I released, I recorded it in 18, I think, <laughs> and released it last year. September of 19. And, um, but it was a project that has some of my favorite songs on there. Um, you know, I, I love bringing back some old songs yeah. um, that, that we loved back in the day. And uh, this one opens up with, y'all remember Let the Praise Begin by Fred Hammond? I know Sandra does. I'm trying oh. to turn my head. <laughs> Man. And so it has this song, and it go, when I it goes hard, <laughs> it goes I mean, so hard. All of the song, all of the songs too. I'm like, I can pick any song and be like, in instantly in the presence of the Lord. It's, it's so awesome. Yeah. So, so tell us about the title. Um, so, what, what went behind the title? Yeah, so I was gonna say the, but the 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 uh, title cut is called Defender, and um, actually, my music director Ed Anderson wrote the song, he brought it to me. And, um, and so we sat down and, and um, I, I helped him finish it up just a little bit. And he gave it to me uh, at a time when <clears throat> he and his wife were, they were going through some, some issues, not issues maritally, but they just had some things that they've been believing God for. And um, the Lord just reminded him of uh, that, that doesn't matter what it is that you're walking through or how long it may take you to get to that place. I'm working everything out for your good. Every setback, every delay, every, um, you know, side swipe, everything that comes out of, that might come out of the blue, every promotion, every good, every good thing, all of it is working for your, your good and for your benefit. And so that's essentially what that song is. You know, um, I, I, my daughter and I traveled to um, Ghana uh, last year and um, while we were there, someone stole my purse. And you know, you're supposed to have your passport with you. And so my passport was in my purse. And so I was stuck in oh, no. Jesus. It was <laughs> the most frightening thing I had ever, cause I was like, and then they were like, you can't, well, you can't go home because you can't get on the plane if you if you if I had a direct flight from Ghana to Florida, I I could go, but I had a layover in Amsterdam, and um, they were like, "Well, you, you're they're not going to let you in the country there, so you're going to have to get another passport." Or you know, but you know, the Lord just reminded me. There's a part in the song 
and I, I'm going to share a little bit of it today, I think. Um, but there's this part that says, you are for me and nothing can stand in my way. I'm secure in the arms of your love. And I just started singing that over and over. You are for me. Nothing can stand in my way. Nothing's going to hold me back because you love me. You take care of me. And if I know that you love me, I don't have to walk in fear. If I know that you love me, I don't have to you know, be worried about what's going to happen. You're going to work this out. I am going to get home. I am going to see my family again. And not like in six months. <laughs> right. I am going to get home and I'm going to see my family. And would you believe that the person that stole my purse brought it back to the police station like the next day? Oh, my Sister, God. come on. Oh, my They brought it back. They took, my, took the cash that was in it, but they brought it to the police station. Wow. wow. Beef with a heart. How about that? How, I mean, how about that? Like, what in the world? Not Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. So yeah, so we were able to get a get a flight back home the next day, which was really cool because we got to travel and sightsee some more uh, <laughs> of Ghana <laughs> that we wouldn't have gotten. Yeah. Yeah. And there, there was a, a gentleman there that my my daughter. Um, I just it was just crazy. My daughter had a friend who was Ghanaian, and she had a friend who owned a hotel, and he let us stay there free for two nights. Just you know, Not for you. Woo! God, God, he is fighting for us. Whatever yeah. situation that you find yourself yeah. in, if you can get to yeah. a place, and like I said earlier, where you will get some music and allow it to yeah. position you and posture you to stand before the Lord and to position yourself to get before him, he'll speak a promise to you. He'll speak a word to you. Yeah. And, and you'll be able to just rest on that word that I am fighting for you. I am for you. I will show you the way that you should go. I'll take care of you. And um, yeah, he is a protector. He is always working for us. Absolutely. What a testimony. I'm going to let the ladies chime in here and let's go to some comments first. Donna says, God is always working it out for you. Yes, he is. We've got a Facebook user. Hey, thanks for tuning in wherever you're tuning in from. Thank you for keeping us encouraged. And Shanae was just like, wow, wow. <laughs> God is a protector. We love it. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys have questions for Maru about worship, about music, about maybe even cultivating your own gifting in the arts, um, please leave the question for us. But if you could hit the share button in just a moment, we've asked LaRue to help us to wrap up the show this morning with a brief worshipful song. I think it's, you guys are going to be so amazed. What I would like to let people know, LaRue, is how can we can we download the song? Do you have projects that we can download now? Yeah, absolutely. So they can buy it um, online, of course, on my website um, and at LaRueMinistries.com. Um, th but then also it's streaming on every digital media outlet. So if you get your music from iTunes, it's there. If you get your music from Google Play, it's there. If you get your music from Spotify, even though people like to don't like to say, don't stream, buy the music. <laughs> <laughs> they're working that out, you know, but if you, you know, if you're streaming it, uh, you can stream at Spotify as well. So it's everywhere. It's all everywhere. Of it. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I, um, I included uh, your song this morning with the little graphic. I try, I try to put some music on graphics sometime and I'm telling you just that little bit, I kept playing it over and over Then it loops for you. And I was just like, yeah, God is, you know, I, I was just worshiping to that little clip. Yeah. Yeah, um, that, that was great. I am. And <laughs> Great yes. I Am, man, that's such a powerful song. I actually didn't write Great I Am. A lot of people thought that I did. Um, I'm plugging my opinion. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, I didn't write that song, but I came to know that song um, at, at a, through some friends of mine um, was recording a session, doing a recording session um, at a local church here. And I was listening to it and I thought, man, I, I, we got to sing that. And um, <laughs> Such a powerful testament mm -hmm. and reminder that nothing can stand before the power and the presence of our God. He is supreme. There is no God like our God. Every other God is an idol, but our God is, he is, he is the most high. He is Elohim. And yeah. there's no one, nothing that stand next to him. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Ladies, what, what uh, final thoughts do you have or questions you have for LaRue as before she leads us into worship. 
I am, I'm so grateful for your story about Ghana because one of the things that like being over here, I don't know what I'm going to be allowed access into. Right. And my, people keep saying, I'm praying for your safety. I'm praying for your safety. And I'm like, please stop doing that. <laughs> please stop praying for my safety. Please, pr please pray for access. Please pray for experience. Please pray for God to meet me in the tension of, I don't know. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to become, I don't, it's not that I don't want it to be comfortable, but like for with you, your experience, the story of God meeting you in a miraculous way, he shows up, right? And then that comes out in your music and that comes out in your voice. And so I'm so grateful for your voice because it's gorgeous. But I think a lot of people have gorgeous voices, right? What's amazing to me is that you offer in this in this series, just, just right now, you're offering your heart, right? You're offering what's 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 the the meat in your voice. The mm -hmm. the meat in your in your story comes out in that way. And it makes sense why within just a few sentences, that little clip, there's something really like electrifying that comes at you. So thank you. I just wanna say thanks. Thanks for doing that. Thanks for sharing your stories. Wow, God bless you. Thank you so much for even sharing that because you know, sometimes like you're right. I have, and I have a friend who travels around the world. She kind of does the same thing. She's here in Orlando right now, but um, you said, stop praying for safety, pray for access. Mm -hmm. And um, it's so important that we know that we know how to pray you know, mm -hmm. being specific yes. with things. So yeah. thank you for that. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Sandra? I, me, I just appreciate you, LaRue. I mean, it's the uh, it's first time meeting you. I pray that one day I'll get to, you know, hug you. I'm a hugger. <laughs> <laughs> but I truly appreciate, you know, I, to echo Kristen, it's not enough to have a great singing voice. It's not enough to have talent. It's, you know, when we're worshiping the Lord, it's having a heart of worship. It's having, you know, that servant's heart to usher individuals into the presence of the Lord. And it's refreshing, you know, to meet someone that truly has just that. Um, not just, hey, I'm a great singer. There's tons of those. Um, and no, you don't have to be Celine Dion. God has called you for this time. Um, so I am just honored and blessed. Thank you. Wow. Amen. Thank you so much. <laughs> LaRue, I had a question. Um, well, as we're going through this as a nation and around the world, as we're dealing with COVID and we're dealing with um, social injustice and all the things that we've been seeing, how are you leading the people around you, your team, or even just ministering to your family and friends about how to stay focused and encouraged um, in, this, in this season? Yeah, you know, I think it, relationship is still so important. Um, I was reading a scripture and I think I shared it yesterday that says um, you all together are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And what caught my attention on that particular version was that said you all together. Um, <clears throat> sometimes, you know, especially now because we're having to be isolated and, you know, be social distancing and everything and we can't be together like we want to. Um, maintaining, I think, relationship helps to mm -hmm bring people back into focus um, because sometimes we can be by ourselves and we can get in our head, you know? Yes. And so I think it's just important to, you know, like they say, re reach out to those strong friends, you know, reach out to those friends that you don't, that you know are not strong. Um, but bringing, just bringing relationship and connectivity to those that, um, that you have influence over um, and just asking them, how are you today? And, allowing the spirit of God to lead you and bringing that encouragement for them. Um, it, it, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll just do that. I'll just shoot a text. Hey, just check in on you. I don't want anything. You know, are you good? What are y'all doing? You, yeah. straight, you know, um, so just, yeah, just maintaining relationships, you know, with people and bringing them back to that focus. It's so important. There's so much uh, healing that happens I know a lot of us, sometimes we talk about, you know, talk shows, the, the, the chaos in relationships and the what's wrong with relationships, but relationships are also for healing and, and to bring um, blessings and love into our lives. So, well, we are so God happy. created us for relationships. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. created us for relationships. Yeah, sorry. We're so happy that you connected with the Good Morning Show and all the Good Morning Show families who are now listening, wait, waiting to enter in with you. I want to thank my guest this morning, LaRue Howard. If you guys can hit the share button, now would be the time as we uh, get a worshipful song this morning with LaRue. Awesome. And I wanted to put the website on the screen. Can you all hear that okay? 
Is that good? And can you hear me? Okay, good. Your name, O oh Lord, is a shield and shelter. In you I put my trust and I am safe. When the enemy comes like a flood, God, you lift me higher. I cry to you and you, you rescue me. Great are you, Lord. You're an awesome ruler. Great are you, Lord. You're a mighty defender. God is fighting for me in all things, working for my good. I will sing praises to your name. God is fighting for me in all things, working for my good. I will sing praises to your name. Hallelujah. This is a good space to just tell the Lord, thank you for fighting for me. Thank you for working things together for my good and for my benefit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, your name, Lord, is a shield and a shelter. Yes, it is. In you I put my trust. I am saved. And then it says, you surround me, Lord. Yes, you do. You lift me higher, and I cry to you, and you, you rescue me. Oh, great are you, Lord, an awesome ruler. Great are you, Lord. You're a mighty defender. God is fighting for me in all things, working for my good. I will sing praises to your name. God is fighting for me in all things, working for my good. I will sing praises to your name. Oh, God is, he is fighting for me in all things, working for my good. I will sing praises to your name. Come on, I think you've got it. Sing it with me. Sing it with me. God is fighting for me in all things, working for my good. I will sing praises to your name. Do you want me to keep going? Keep going? Okay. <laughs> Says, you are for me. This was this one part. Nothing can stand in my way. I am secure in the arms of your love. Thank you, Lord. That you are for me. Nothing can stand in my way. I am secure in the arms of your love. You can just make this declaration that you are for me. And nothing can stand in my way. Cause I am secure in the arms of your love. If God be for me, who can be against me? And you are. Nothing can stand in my way. I am secure in your arms. Nothing can take me from your love. Oh, you are for me. Nothing can stand in my way. I am secure in the arms of your love. Thank you for 
you for keeping me. Nothing can stand in my way. Oh, I am secure in the arms of your love. Oh, great are you, Lord. You're an awesome ruler. Yes, you are. Great are you, Lord. You are my mighty defender. Oh, since God is fighting for me in all things, working for right here, right where you are. It's all working for your good because God is fighting for you. He's working it out for you. Sing it one more time. God is fighting for me in all things are working for my god this is all we need to do is i will sing praises to your name to the lord i will set myself and stand still and watch you work i will sing praises Yes, I will. I will lift my hands to you. I will bless you, Lord, at all times. I will sing. I will sing praises to your name. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we give you praise. We magnify you. You are the great I am. You are the I am that I am. You are forever worthy of praise. We will give you all glory, all the honor, all the praise belongs to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Woo! Good. Break the audio here. I didn't want to scream too loud, but <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goodness. Hallelujah. Thank you. You were like, keep going. I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Beautiful. I am telling you, this. I, I knew it. I said, you know, Lord, there's there's someone who can close out this month and bring us all to a place where we can go into our weekend now in a mindset of worship. I, I always hear people say worship is a lifestyle. Worship is a lifestyle. It's, it's how we live. Um, and so thank you for for taking us into the presence of God, LaRue, in such a wonderful way. You guys gotta put your hand clap emojis out there for the Lord <laughs> and for LaRue. And this <laughs> oh man, that song. Love it. You know, it, it was it was interesting that within the first couple of uh verses I could I could start singing it because I it was yeah. yeah that's the great thing about worship leaders is you can help um deliver that message in a way that I can now receive it and re begin to repeat it. That's right. That's um, right. So for the rest of the day, you're going to be singing that. God is fighting for me in all things are working for my good. I will sing praises to your name. Ooh, yes, oh my gosh. I said I wasn't going to do it this morning, but what's wrong with tears, right? It's tears. It's all great. Yeah. <laughs> and even if there were tears of sadness and tears of heaviness, Andy, you know, this is the Lord put this on my heart this morning. You know, healing sometimes means pain. Yeah. If you break a bone, if you go to the, the emergency room and you, you know, put a bone out of socket, what are they going to do? They're going to reset it. Yeah, they are. <laughs> sometimes hurts worse than the break. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes people can, they want to hide their tears and they want to, you know, be so quick to, you know, stop crying. No, it's a part of emotion. God gave that to us, you know, and it's a part of who we are. And and those that those tears, those emotions, that's a part of healing. And so even if you are, you find yourself, you know, sobbing, crying, it's okay, because that means that you are healing. Yeah. Tears are also a part of a part, crying. That's a part of your healing. You know, we okay. had all of the, the 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 riots and the protests and everything. People were being emotional because there's healing that's taking place. You know, sometimes we would say, "Oh, they're crying. They're emotional. They're they're tearing up stuff because they're angry." Or what? Yeah, but that's necessary in order to bring healing. Mm -hmm. So, it's okay to cry. So good. Oh, thank you. Because the tears are going to be rolling now. Just let them flow. 
I want to get to a few comments and then we'll let LaRue get started with her day. Thank you so much for being here. I think we had uh, someone actually appropriately, Millie says tears, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Thank you for the song. Oh my gosh. New beginnings for next month, Shanae That's right, Amen. August strong. Second half of 2020, let's go. Ooh, I love it, August strong, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a way to close out the month. Oh, that's so amazing. Um, this has just been the perfect ending to the month. And LaRue, we just to pray continued blessing on your ministry and all of the projects and music and things to come. And we just know that the Lord is going to increase you more and more. I want to let everyone know where to go. And uh, we can download music anywhere that you listen to music. Search LaRue Howard, you have Defender, but go to LaRueMinistries.com today and, and download uh, Good Morning Show Family. This has been so good. Ladies, anything else to, that you have to share before we close? Thank you. I Yeah, I mean, it's funny. I think it's like the Gregorian chants, the beauty of the Gregorian chants, yeah. but a time when they were illiterate and, and couldn't do anything other than just remember like a base of a melody and a one really important thought. There's something really beautiful about the repetition. I mean, you went all over the place, which is so great, but there's a, there's some place for us, for everybody. <laughs> right? yeah. there's, that, there's that melody. Um, and yeah. that's so beautiful because it, it does. It offers that thing for that to be the thought over and over and over and over again. So thank you for that. Wow. Well, I know what I'm going to be singing in my heart all day. Uh, he's working for my good. All things work together for my good. LaRue, thank you so much for being our guest this morning. There's the Good Morning Show music. We know what that means. We're going to dance our way out. She already knew how to dance. dance <laughs> it's music. It brings us together. So that's what I said. Well, done. That's what we're done. well, we hope that you all have really enjoyed yourselves, been encouraged this morning. Thank you for tuning in to the Good Morning Show with Candy Bryant and the Friday Squad. Thank you to Sandra, Yvonne, Kristen Rogers, and our special guest, LaRue Howard, for really closing out and entering. We, we entered into the presence of God in worship today. Until Monday, we'll be here 7.45 a.m. Eastern, guys. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you later. Don't forget, the Rue Ministries dot com. <laughs>